So we are reading from Radha Rasa Sudhanidi, verse 96. May the two supremely astonishing, blissful, rasika, amorous, and enchanting syllables, radha, that fulfill all desires that are muttered by Shri Hari, who sits in a bower house on the bank of the Yamuna, as the king of yogis, meditating... Ah, one minute. Hmm? This Krishna, whole universe is meditating on him. <laughs> Even the yogis meditate in Krishna. And they say that Krishna has no other desire. This no attachment with anything. That is that Krishna is sitting quietly in Babar house in one place in the forest, and he meditates in the name of Radha. How much the whole universe, Krishna to Bhagavan Swami, He is the creator of all, everything. This Supreme Personality of Godhead is sitting and meditating in the name of Radha. You can import, understand importance of Radha means. So, Sri Hari, who sits in a bower house on the bank of the Yamuna, mm. as the king of yogis. King of yogis. He is not ordinary yogi, king of yogis. Yes. Meditating on the effulgence of her lotus feet. Uh, lotus feet, sorry. Mm -hmm. Affordance of lotus feet. Ananta Koti Vishnu Lok. Ananta Koti Vishnu Lok. They are all meditating in the nail, Samni's Nakha. Means nail of Radhi. Sat. What is an Ananta Koti Vishnu Lok? Is a Radha Kripakatak. Sat Parangalu Nakhe. Sat means hundred Vishnu's Loka. They all are meditating on the Two nails of Radha. And they glorify, but they cannot do it. Meditating on the effulgence of her lotus feet with eyes filled with tears of love. You see, tears of love means melting heart that when you will give mercy to me. What about we give Mm. 
we can only pray that it can be Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu, Krishna, he want to relish. He, for him, is a foreign, like a foreigner. He don't know the feeling of Radhika. So he, he took the Krishna, took the mood of Radharani and cover himself with the avaran, means the body cover in Radha Bhav, that he never go out from that. That is Chaitanya. This is the first reason for his appearance as a Chaitanya. He was the subject and Radha is the object, Prema is the object. Krishna becomes subject and Radha become object. Mm -hmm. Before that we know that we are the subject and Krishna is object. But now Krishna himself say, I am the subject and she is my object. And then this eyes, when you see, then you understand Gaur Lila. Then you understand that Krishna is a foreigner to understand the feeling and love of Radhika. So he took the mood of Radha. He taking mood means he become disciple, he become a student, he become dasi of Radha. That is Mandiri Bhav. Krishna, he is practicing in a Chaitanya Bhav Dasi of Radhika. And he is teaching to us to become Radha Dasi to understand me. So, yeah, this is very important. So, I want to share this. And these books, you have to explain the moment is subject coming. Not that you wait and then you explain it. Mm. Line by line, you have to understand it. Full of rasa. If not, then it's not possible to understand. Go on. If you understand, then you can relish this past time. Oh, so if, you all have to understand in this mood, this past time. May these two syllables, Radha, always be manifest in my heart. This is the Sri Radha's re-shielding holy name. Wow. Because the holy name is non-different from its bearer. The, yeah. name, the name of Radha also contains all of her personal sweetness. Yeah. Mm. Indeed, even Sri Krishna, who is sweetness personified, mutters this holy name 
with the greatest love in a secret bower house on the bank of the Yamuna. Yeah. Meditating like the king of yogis on the light shining from her divine lotus feet. Shining in divine light. That when a day will come that I can see you face to face. Timira Bisharika Shri Radha, tender Radhika, rushes out at night to meet Krishna. Overcoming all possible obstacles just to come to see him in a trysting arbor. Yeah. For our one pointedness, mm. difficulty is no meaning to very dark night. Very bad road, very muddy road. Many animals and snacks she not bother. Means difficulties are so many, but she never think for that difficulty. She has a one pointer to see Krishna. That is the way of devotion and love. But it's interesting also that uh, Manjaris are very clever. So to protect Radhika, they also know how to talk with her, uh, that she will not go just like that on the bed road or uh, on thorns. So they say... Now, now you see, it's too early to share now. Okay. now then you will see. Okay. <laughs> uh, the, the subject, the verse and the line meditate. Not go back of further, further living in now, then you can relish it. This is the divinity to fix your divinity, live in now. Then feeling will grow. And this feeling has to be as high. Yesterday I say, Gyan Mishra Bhaktas. They are fixed in the Gyan Mishra Bhakti. <laughs> they cannot change. Karm Mishra Bhakta. They are fixed in Karm Mishra Bhakti. They cannot change. So, Suddha Bhakta has to be fixed in Suddha Bhakti. No change. Learn from Gyan Mishra Bhakta and Karma Mishra Bhakti that they never change. Then why I will change myself? Please. If you say to Gyan Mishra Bhakta, Suddha Bhakti, they will not like it. Because no much information are there. Honest, I say. We 
डोंट नीड टू बी ज्ञान मिश्रा भक्ता कर्म मिश्रा भक्ति वी हैव टू प्रैक्टिस शुद्ध भक्ति यू नो नीड टू गैदर द इन्फॉर्मेशन वी हैव टू लिव इन नाउ इन द वर्ड्स राधे राधे श्रीपा इन हिज किंकरी फॉर्म श्रीपा इन हिज किंकरी फॉर्म राधे राधे अगेन से दिस वर्ड श्रीपा इन हिज किंकरी फॉर्म दिस इज द पॉइंट यू सी This is Manjari Bhav. King Kiri and Manjari are the same. The King Manjari, they wait for the order. King Kiri not wait for the others. This is the difference. They know what he want, my Swami. They do without telling before they do. So this king Kiri, who knows that Radha is going to the this midnight, very dark night and very muddy road and very heavy road, she is ready. <clears throat> Now, if you want to practice king Kiri, you have to follow her. So I have to say this. I come because Gora Ganga Sundara is listening, not sharing. If you don't understand this, you cannot go walking to gather with Radha. You have to walk through. Again, read Sri Pad. Read. Shripada, in his kinkari form, follows her like her shadow. You see, this follow, we have to follow like a shadow. You see the nature of the shadow. The existence of shadow is not there if the original is not there. So who is my original? Radhika. Huh? Radhika. So this original, and then shadow is coming. When Swami is there, I have to be in in the form of shadow with her. Any place where the shadow can come, Manjari is all living. Even he is alone, or he is with Krishna, Radhika, Swami. Every place shadow cannot live because Sri Pad is in the shadow form. So, if you want to be kinkari, you are in shadow form. Radhe. If you forget her, your shadow will not stay there. Radhe. Clear? Yes. Read again from here. His new subject. 
Shripada, in his kinkari form, follows her like her shadow. Wow. The forest of Vrindavana is so dark at night, being also covered by overhanging trees and vines, that a person cannot even see his own stretched out hand. But the most tender princess, Sri Radhika, considers this darkness to be a great advantage for her secret trist. Wow. Sri Radhika. All obstacles. What, what is the meaning? The meaning is a gift for her. Yes, because nobody will see her when she uh, secretly goes out. She don't bother for any difficulties. Mm. So intense love is there. That for him is light, is difficulty, and difficulty is no difficulty. Mm. For us, little problem come, we, we start thinking and living in the difficulties. And she has so much will to see Krishna, but so dark that she cannot see her hand, but she no feel any difficulty. Today, well, she my song, show up to her. No feel any difficulty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no difficulty. And similar, Manjari does not feel any difficulty because why she will feel difficulty? Somni is there. This is divinity. All obstacles take shelter at Anuragini's passionate Radha's lotus feet. All the obstacles, all the problems take shelter. Mm. You know, bother for the shelter, then the shelter. The difficulties take shelter. If I bother for the problems, then mind is there, and she is not bothering for the problems. She is bothering on pointed Krishna meditation, and the difficulty is no difficulty for her. She took the shelter of his lover, not for the difficulties. And our material conscious only see difficulties and we lose the shelter of the goal. This is the difference between material people and spiritual people. Mahamaya catch us and we leave the shelter of Yoga Maya and we start 
solving the problem. Are you foolish? We cannot solve our problem whole life. And problem will never leave first. Take the shelter of Krishna or Radha. There will be no problem. Radha is one-pointed for Krishna and Krishna is one-pointed for Radha. There is no problem, although that looks very heavy problem. We see problem. So problem is behind us and the goal is not there. That is the meaning of this line. Read and feel it. Again, read. All obstacles take shelter at Anuragini's lotus feet. Gurudev, all these obstacles are becoming favorable. Naturally. Natural. And our obstacle become the goal to solve. And we cannot solve. Anyone say who solved the problems of his life? No one. <laughs> Because the goal is different. There is no goal for divine way. So one goes, we work for one to solve, other comes. Other solve, third comes. And we pass our whole life only for this problem solving. Then we think that when I will get time, then I will think. I they think why problem will come here? Yeah. <laughs> problem is coming because you not give your mind for where there is no problems. To say chintamani. Well, and what you say, I, I feel. In my practical life, I want problem, but it comes one minute good. No two seconds takes time to me to solve it immediately operation. And free. Mind always keep for something. Material problem is connected with material thing. That sound is very easy. <laughs> and you are free. I am learning that <laughs> to sometime I'm not sure how to do it, but uh, I'm learning and in the center of this king of yogi who meditates in Radha, he will teach us. 
why Prabhupada says first you have to assign with Krishna. Mm. Because he is king of you. <laughs> he teaches how to make yoga. He teaches how to do it. Why Radha will say you, but he show you the way. So sign Krishna. Upad. Bhagavad Gita is very much Try to understand his words. We not assign it. We don't believe it. This is the dishonesty of us. Is still running to search new, some new information. Is still not satisfaction that he is the king of yogi. He is the supreme. Don't believe this. So we are gathering more and more Krishna's information. Assign it. Then slowly, steadily, gold will come. Up. What alternate? Ultimate. Ultimate gold will come. Jai Ho, Guru. Our practice mistake. Really, I'm telling. Assign it. The day you will assign it, all will become crystal clear. Because he is the king of yogi. He will do what he is doing. He will show us. Yeah, one day we were yesterday. Japanese class reading about Narayan Maharaj. He said, I have no greed. Narayan Maharaj said, because there is no mercy. Mm. Greed come by mercy. If the mercy is not there, greed will never come. So why not greed is there? Because though no mercy I receive. I not live in that mercy, so greed is not there. Wow. See this 50, 51. No mercy. So what to do? Pray to Vaishnava. Pray to Gurudev. Pray to Krishna that they give you mercy and when they will give mercy, then greed can come. When greed will come, you cannot live without that. Greedy cannot live without that. I cannot live without my Swamini, this is my greed. I am a Dasi Kinkari. I am a shadow of her. For a moment, I don't want to leave her. Thank you. Wow. When Srimati arrives at the trysting place, she sees that Shyama Sundara 
has still not arrived. So she becomes very upset. The maidservant understands this and goes out to search for Shyama. You see, this is the message. She not said to such, this is King Kalibhav. It is so dark in the forest that Krishna could not find the trysting place. And he sits down in another kunja nearby. The maidservant finds Nagara in that arbor on the bank of the Yamuna, meditating on the aura of Radha stone nails. By Radharani's grace, the maidservant knows what is going on in Krishna's mind. Nagara, first of all, thinks, Aha, uh -huh. how can my tender Radhika come over this dark forest path all alone? But then he remembers the bright light that shines from her toenails. And he thinks, surely she can proceed when the moon rays shining from her toenails are lighting up the way for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she is the navigator. Mm -hmm. She is lighting the path. <laughs> Why Krishna is meditating in the toenail of Radhika? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because this is the way. This is the way. As soon as that Padangalu Sasra Godi Vishnu Lo Are Krishna is meditating in the toenail of Radhika. What about Vishnu Loka? What about the all living entity? All of what about his creation? Krishna is showing by his doing that I do this. And if you want to success in your life, do this. That is meaning of assignment of Krishna. Prabhupada say, assign it, accept this, what he do. Then a step will be clear to understand in my life. What further to do? What is the higher to do? What is missing 
and why we are suffering. Because we are not following the teaching of my Guru or Krishna. We don't believe him. He still doubt is full of, covered the doubt in my head and body. So it takes time. Now, Langa Sundar and others can share. I bring the flow <laughs> and all the share. Go on. As soon as if you want to make happy to me, go line by line, word by word, try to translate. You cannot translate this book. Suddha Bhakti, if you not flow in that words and realization, then is out of subject. Please, this is only request to you. So, Guru Dev, I will try to. Yes. Please, you just leave a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I can I don't have capacity for more. No. But there is one beautiful every one has a capacity who are signed with Krishna. <laughs> and they have no capacity if they know are signed with Krishna. Sorry to say. <laughs> yes, you're right. Prabhupada word and I believe his words two hundred percent. So because they, I understand his words. And my Uddhav is giving class in Bhagavad Gita. And I think it's the best class he is giving. And who, who want to clear the Bhagavad Gita, if he is not joining, they don't want to clear the subject. I will say this. Gauravani is giving class in Gaura, Gauranga Mahaprabhu Chaitanya Chaitam. If he is not listening, means he has no desire to understand something. These are the connection, basic connection with this Vilakusamanjali. To more there is any blockage, they have to clear it. It will helpful to you. Go on. Yeah. Sorry, repeat that line. I bring different directions. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, 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 can you read this by Radharani's grace? Okay. Please, thank you. By Radharani's grace, the maid servant knows what is going on in Krishna's mind. So this is important. By Radha's grace. Maid servant can be so expert in serving Yugala Kishore because she knows what is the mind in the mind of Swamini and what is in the mind of Krishna. So, in that way, she can be perfect servant, duty, messenger, and she can have all these lilas. Oh, deep 
carved in her heart. Only by Radhika's mercy. Because she is so, like Gurudev said, and Anantadas Babaji wrote here, because she is like the shadow of Radhika and completely absorbed in her emotions. I just wanted to, and please, Dayaluji, continue. I just want to, to emphasize how much this is important. First to sign, and then to come close and closer and closer and closer to our object of love. And this is the only possible if we are getting the mood through the heart of Radharani's eternal maidservants. Then we will learn how to expertly serve because we will know the heart of our Sevya, of our Radhika. And in that mood, Prabhupada Saraswati, like a kinkari, is looking this scene exactly knowing what is going on in Krishna's heart by Radharani's mercy. And now she is explaining what's going on by Radharani's mercy. That's mine. Right. Nagara, first of all, thinks, uh -huh. how can my tender Radhika come over this dark forest path all alone? But then he remembers the bright light that shines from her toenails. And he thinks, Surely she can proceed when the moon rays shining from her toenails are lighting up the way for her. So it's complete night. There is even no moon. It's Timira, Abhisar. Everything is so dark, but Radhika is rushing through this with through this darkness with her abhi, uh, anuraga, which is burning in her heart, and from this burning, from the heart, the light is coming from her nails toenails and Krishna is explaining through his meditation that because of that this light from her toenails which is a result of her anurag are brightening the path oh. right. Anurag. And King Kari, who is also Anurag. Because she received the mercy of Radhika to feel this. All these things. All the heart and mind and all Lilas. Out. Say something. Mm. And this light, what is coming from her lotus feet, this light 
इज अ किंकरी भाव यू कैन इमेज हेन दिस इनलाइटमेंट she is floating tinke is mandarin of anuragini gurudev this light is serving radhika showing her path like this is a, this is this, yes this is manjari is what is a light from radhika shadow of radhika and you can imagine this manjari bhav is so enlightened to others and to us you can hide this light are binod baba can hide his light any mahas rasik vaishnava can hide this light is coming from the toenail of radhika can imagine mm. what you are running for why you are bothering for anything is to bother at done is all illusion all is false what running for we are running for nothing but false will say i am the truth you are false thinking you are running for false and that way we can fuse our life as soon as rasaraj krishna the king of relishers remembers the effulgence of prema mai toenails aha uh -huh. he becomes absorbed in its sweetness sweetness like a great yogi absorbed in samadhi yeah so effulgence is non different than her sweetness it's all sweetness her sweetness is also in effulgence he no deviate this krishna where you assign it he no deviate yaar read this last line what you repeat it as soon as rasaraj krishna the king of relishers hmm? remembers the effulgence of prema mai's stone names he becomes absorbed in its sweetness yeah like a great yogi absorbed in samadhi yeah mm -hmm. not to mix the milk then he mix then it will become kapur <laughs> just as the great yogis sit 
in a solitary mountain cave to meditate on the supreme Brahman light. So also Sri Krishna, who is the supreme Brahman himself, meditates on the effulgent toenails of Sri Radha. <laughs> this is the must. Prabhupada said, this is the mercy of Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness bring you for the goal. Krishna is showing the goal. Again, I am not satisfied. I want to listen more and more to be in that. Just as, a, as the great yogis sit in a solitary mountain cave to meditate on the Supreme Brahman light, so also Sri Krishna who is the Supreme Brahman himself, meditates on the effulgent toenails of Sri Radha. Understand? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> One time reading, really not understanding. This mm -hmm. is Rasika words. Gurudev, yes. Mahababa wrote, or maybe she can say this what she wrote actually. Mm. Some small commentary regarding this subject. Yeah. Uh, I will read. Yes, or uh, Mahabala wrote. Yeah, so this means that the source of Brahman effulgence actually then, comes from Radha's toenails. Hmm? Again. Uh, so this means that the source of Brahman effulgence actually comes from Radha's toenails. Yes, but I see Manjari coming. He's also, all are coming, but Manjari also coming from her toenail. He's also coming, all are coming. Yeah. But so I see everything. everything. Hmm. I was just thinking, when the forest is dark of Vrindavan, then we can imagine how the universe is dark without Radha's train. You see? done better. Radha, Radha. Radha. Sorry, I, I was just feeling to, to share this. I was just thinking this um, 
this topic of the darkness of the forest. And um, so even without her prema, the Supreme is empty, he's living in darkness, right? So I was thinking if, if Krishna is living in the dark forest of Vrindavan, so what is our condition, right? We're in complete darkness. And then comes the light from the toenails. And Guru is saying, this is the torch. And who is that? That's Guru Devi, it's Guru Manjari. That's the Guru Parampara, because out of Radha's toenails emanates that prema, which is floating from Guru Dev to our hearts. So that's why even Shiva, the Adi Guru, is meditating on her toenails. So that was just a small, small thing which came out there. Prema, Prema Bhakti Chandrika. Is a torchlight. Yeah. And this dark, narrow path. And this torchlight is coming from Guru's heart. Okay. Guru Manjari's heart. Rupa Raguna. Rupa Raguna. Rati and Rupa Manjari. Yes. When Rati is there, then for me. Without Rati, without greed, Rati is not coming. And when Rati comes, then form is coming. These are the steps. Rati is a, a student, disciple, and Rupa is a goal. And Rati means totally that type of madness, what we are in material world, that madness has to come in for Swami. To bring in the front to her. Now, uh, one pointed word when this Rati is there, then Rupa is coming, then Rupa is coming, then Sarupa is coming, our form is coming. Then we realize our Guru Manjari. That what a gift I got from you. That is firm faith. If not, then anartha and anartha nivritti is happening only whole life. You mentioned that time that. When it's Rati, there is Rupa, Swarupa, and there is Seva, this coming yourself. Rupa? Seva. Guru is Rupa. Guru gives the Rupa. Then it's Sarupa come to our Sarupa. Mm -hmm. Rupa and Sarupa. Mm -hmm. And then Guru Nistha is happening. When I see Guru Sarupa. All is a combined, is a guru and shishyas. Without rati, guru not happiest. Sarup not happiest. Rati is important. First greed is important, then rati is important. And greed is not coming, but mercy is not there. Mercy is still not is the missing of mercy. So Krishna's form is Rasaraj, 
can only come because of Radhika. She's giving him the Rupa. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, he's only Brahman. <laughs> yeah. You see, Rati of Radha becomes Rupa of Krishna. He's all divine. Divine. He's not human. Like we are, we sing is the wrong thinking, material, living in material identity and think like a material. Prabhu, Mahaprabhu gives so a special thing, Rati and Rupa. Yeah. Even the worshipable truth of the greatest yogis is absorbed. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Absorbed. What? Go on. Even the worshipable truth of the greatest yogis is absorbed in worshipping Prema, personified by Sri Radha. You see, Sri Radha, without assigning to Krishna, its understanding will never clear Sri Radha. Mm. Prabhupada is the highest rasik in my heart and mind. Yeah. I always pray him. He is giving the key to the preparatory school. But it's surprising indeed. In that time, when we don't know ABCD of Bhakti, Yeah. Although the greatest mystics want to attain liberation by meditating on his bodily luster, means Krishna's, he himself meditates on the effulgence of Radhika's lotus feet. Yeah. To become liberated from his lusty feelings. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So by meditating on Radhika's lotus feet, we can also become liberated from different feelings and, and uh, from our material desires. Now things is coming. Why not Krishna is giving this? Because he needs it also. <laughs> no, Krishna is create Maya Sakti and Yoga Maya Sakti. I know. Why he will bother for you? Yeah. You are here or there. <laughs> you will be always my devotee. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, like a motherly love. She won't carry. More merciful. She is feeding her breast to grow. She has to say, This is the fire, don't put your hand there. And when I will not assign, I will never know this. Uh, this is the problem of me. Only we will do the Amazon give and take. I order you and supply me. 
What is Amazon? You are, I order, I will pay money and you supply me. And God means I order you not, I have to pay you or supply me. This is not love, it's business. Right. Mm. So we not assign it. <laughs> this is the point. If I will assign it, means I don't will order you supply. You don't need to supply me. <coughs> you order me, I will supply you. <laughs> I will serve you. Circumstances will change, my dear. This is devotion and one practice of vegan, I say vegan practice. One is devotional practice, one is vegan practice. You can only think for himself, nothing bothering for the anyone. I eat this, you have to take this. If you need meal product, I will not give you, because I know take. <laughs> no, no, Abhishek, you need this meal product. No, I know to use, I will not use it for you. Maybe I will use something else for you, but my God, this is vegan consciousness. I not bother for you, I bother for myself. This is devotion. I think this is vegan. But if you not want to be devotee, become vegan. Very easy to come out from that devotion. Uh, yeah. Just as the cave-like hearts of the great, great yogis are illuminated by the Brahma Jyoti, the cave-like heart of Sri Krishna, who is Brahman personified, is illuminated by the light emanating from Sri Radha's lotus feet. Yeah. When thing you are telling, my dear, all you want to complete today, everything. <laughs> Only one line you meditate all day you need. Yeah. Actually, this, what we are talking, this is so much important, at, at least for me, to deeply understand. What? What about me? Everyone important, yeah? Everyone has to realize and live in every one words and line. Words and line. And why I recommend a book with the Manjari Bhav that you have to read first to be with Radha. All books are very good, but if you not practice Manjari Bhav, you will not relate to yourself that you are there. 
what you are talking of the books i read before but that time i see i no relate there you all books what you are talking i read all what i am doing from 70s not one time shrimad bhagavat 100 time i listen but i never relate with that i no understand i understand when i read shuddha bhakti of anandas baba ji book then i realize if you are not following there in the subject you will not be there you have to start to practice to follow what you are words words are there why my gurudev stopped me to read gobinda leela amrita now i understand because i my manjari sarup was not fixed if i read gobinda leela amrita i will see from my body the consciousness i will totally kaput <coughs> so never read rasika book without knowing your position and how you have to practice it so sorry if you are practicing any other books try to come back in radha sudhani ji and vilap kusum manjali first you fix yourself what position you want to be there then read what you like you will fix your position after that <coughs> then shuddha bhakti in your asthai bhav will be there if not then you will be sakhi bhav sakhi bhav manjari bhav only playing wasting your time that is gyan mishra bhakti of karm mishra bhakti this bhakti will not work if you want to be in gyan mishra bhakti you collect knowledge very good if you want to be shuddha bhakta in your sarup avish you have to do it like that this is my request and advice to you we no need information we no need to use our mind because we are babies we have to be a babies to learn from my son we no need any qualification we need our mercy and our feelings and understanding address to develop my rati to see rupa and my sarupa please my dear simple way not make complicated make a life easy and short time is limited thank you rather us there are thank you baba sweet katha crazy sweet katha rather there are thank you very much guru rather 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 thank you very much thank you thank you i want not to share you share all 
and you want to make me happy, everyone has to share. And develop your feelings, live in the feelings, and become kinkri of Pratika, please. This is my wish. If you love me, do this. <laughs>